I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn simple techniques of solving algebraic equations. The two techniques which we'll talk about are by inspection and by systematic trial. Question before us is solve each equation by inspection or systematic trial. We have four different equations x over 2 plus 4 equals to 6, 2 times p minus 4 equals to 8, 1 third of y plus 1 is 10, a times a plus 1 is equal to 72. You can actually pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now let's see how to solve such equations. x over 2 plus 4 equals to 6. One way to solve this is by inspection, but before even applying that method, what I feel more important about solving equations is to interpret or read them in proper way. For example, let us read this equation as half of a number. Don't say x. We know x is a variable. It could be any number, right? So we say half of a number plus 4 is 6. Or we can say 4 more than half a number is 6. Okay? Then what that number should be? Or we can say 4 plus some number is 6 and I know that number should be 2, right? I know 4 plus 2 is 6. So we think like this. We know 4 plus 2 equals to 6 and I mean 6, right? And therefore, we say half of the number should be equal to 2. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. So if you interpret like this, it becomes very easy to solve by inspection, correct? So you look at it and say, well, 4 plus 2 is 6 and this x over 2 or half of a number should be 2. So half of which number is 2? It is 4. I know 4 half is 2 and therefore we get our solution, correct? So we say now the solution is x is equals to 4. You get the idea. So that is how you can get the solution of an equation. Let's try this technique once more with the second equation. It is 2 times p take away 4 as equal to 8. So the question here is, I have to take away 4 from a number to get 8. So that is, it is 12 minus 4 equals to 8. I know that. That means twice a number is equal to 12. And what should be the number? So, p should be 6, right? So, twice the number is 12, so p should be 6. So, that is how we could get our answer by inspection. Do you get the idea? And so, we get p equals to 6 as our answer. The other method which we will be talking about is systematic trial. And that is, we can assume a value of p, right? So, we say, let p be equals to 3. Now, if I say 3 is the value of p, in that case, 2p minus 4 is how much? So, we'll calculate 2p minus 4 for 3. So, we say 2 times 3 minus 4, 6 minus 4 is 2. Well, not 8. So, I should try a bigger number. So, say let p be equals to 5. So, in that case, it will be 2 times 5 minus 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. It is even smaller than 8. So, we need to get to the next number we can try p equals to 6 and then we get 2 times 6 is 12, 12 minus 4 is 8. So that should be the solution, correct? So that is how you can do systematic trial and get the result also. So these are two methods by which you could solve equation easily, correct? There are other methods also which we'll discuss in next video. Now the next question here is one third of a number plus one is 10 correct so what we are saying is one third of a number plus one is 10 but one plus what is 10 we know 9 plus 1 is 10 that means one third of a number is 9 so what should the number be that means y should be 27 right one third of 27 is 9 so likewise we can get our result Right? I hope you appreciate this method. So this is the method of inspection. Now, let's do the last one here, which is product of A and A plus 1 is 72. Now, it also means that 
product of consecutive numbers. That means the numbers which come together is 72. L numbers like 3 and 4, right? So if A is 3, then 3 plus 1 is 4. You get the point. 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So we are looking for consecutive numbers whose product should be 72, right? So if I, I can try, so if I say 6 times 7, well, 6 times 7 is 42, okay? How about 8 times 9, right? So we jump to the answer. That is 72. So we know 72 is 8 times 9. And so A should be 8, right? So we get our solution. And the solution here is A equals to 8, right? In that case, 8 times 8 plus 1 is 8 times 9. And that is 72. So we could get the answer by inspection. Now I'll appreciate if you could redo these questions with systematic trial method. So that would be a good practice exercise for you. I hope that helps. Thank you.